Isn't he Idris? great sitting at the top of the table looking down at all the other teams for a change? That's brilliant. What a great feeling. We've had that thing for a very, very long time. Um, I was just going to come and say the fact that I'm disappointed that we went to Anfield and didn't win the game just says a lot about how United have progressed uh, over the last 12 months. I mean, 12 months ago, we were about 30-odd points behind Liverpool. And the fact that today we went to Anfield uh, and, um, you know, I'm very disappointed that we didn't win that game at the end. Um, Do you think you deserved it? Yeah, I think we did. We, we, did. We, can't, we can't go to Anfield and right from the minute one go all gung ho and try and attack them. We just can't do that. And I think Ole, had he, had he scored that goal, had Pogba scored that goal, Ole would have executed his plan perfectly. Because, like I said, you can't just attack Liverpool right from the offset. You know, you need to soak up the pressure. And I thought we did that well on second half. I thought we were the better side. I saw, and, I saw um, Ole talking after the game and he said he was disappointed with the first half performance. Was there an argument, Idris, that looking at, at, uh, at Liverpool's two centre-halves, Fabinho and, uh, and Henderson, that Manchester United could have, could have gone for the jugular? Yeah, I agree, but I think it's down to our, our passing wasn't great in the first half. Our midfield wasn't great, to be honest, in the first half. Uh, the plan was right. It's just the, the passing was wayward. And I don't think Fred and McTominay had a, had a great game, even Fernandez. But I'd just like to point out, Pogba, finally, Ollie's managed to get a tune out of Pogba. Now, we've had a lot of issues. Ollie's had to deal with uh, Pogba, uh, agent, and the Maguire issue, Greenwood. And you've got to hand it to Ollie, hats off to Ollie, trying to deal with his Did you want Pogba now, out? Finally. Um, I have to be honest, yes, at the time. Yes, I did. Uh, because you can't have a player's agent, you know, going, going on a tantrum like this. He can't, just can't. And it just disrupts the whole team. But I'm glad that's behind us now and Pogba's playing well. All we want is Pogba to play well. You know, if, if he, his agent can say all he likes, as long as Pogba plays well and wins his game, that's all I'm concerned about, to be honest. Um, but like I said, a year ago, we were 30 points behind Liverpool. Now we sit on top of the table, three points ahead of them, and I'm disappointed that we didn't get a win at Anfield. That's how much Ole has progressed. And how, that's how much it, Idris, has I, Idris, before the start of the season, Chris went for Man City, and I said, if you finish, whoever finishes above Manchester United will win the league. Who do you think, if you don't finish top, who's your biggest challenges, Liverpool or City? Oh, it's, it's definitely City. There's definitely City now at the moment. But I'm not getting carried away. I'm not saying we will win the league. I don't want to get carried away, but I just want to highlight the, the closing of the gap and the progress we have made, which is fantastic. I myself, I came on here, I, I had my doubts about Oli as well, but I have to uh, hold my hands up and, you know, uh, just, just, I'm really pleased and appreciate the work Oli has done. Behind, you know, it, it's really great. It just, 